as cool as the animals are that we have in the world now, we've lost some amazing things. In prehistoric times, we had really big stuff. It would be really neat to think about rats as big as a horse, insects as big as we are. I don't know, huge things. And it's true. Sounds like somebody made up a crazy story, but it's true. We had these great big giant versions of stuff that we know today. I got a cool book about that. Let's check it out. The Voyage of Turtle Rex by Kurt Cyrus. It's story time with Mr. Burnett. Story time with Mr. Burnett. It's bound to be something that you want. The Voyage of Turtle Rex by Kurt Cyrus Deep in the dunes of a long-ago shore, the leathery shell of a turtle egg tore. Out popped a flipper, then two, then four. They scrabbled and scooped and scrabbled some more. The turtle was small, but her flippers were big. The better to dig with. Dig, dig, dig. Hey, that rhymes. A primeval beach was a spined, tingling sight. She hid in the sand. She waited for night. Or for something enormous to blot out the light. Then out poured the turtles, a tumble of specks, under the legs of a towering rex. Sploosh went the waves, fizz went the foam, swish went the flippers in search of a home. Rowing ahead into swell after swell, she teetered and tipped, she rose, she fell. A wave loomed above her. She dove underneath and found herself swept through an ocean of teeth. Surrounded by danger, instinctively rowing, the turtle kept going and going and going. Into a tangle the sea turtle slipped, bumping past bladders that bobbed and dipped. A seaweed hotel, in comfort and style, a turtle could stay for a long, long while. Time, like a turtle, passed silently by, stirring the sea, swirling the sky. The hatchling, who hid in the seaweed, was gone. Grown to a two-ton archelon. She glided past plesiosaurs, calm as you please. She swam with the sharks under rolling seas. Okay, I want you to think about this. This little turtle, this baby little turtle, grew up to be the size of my Honda Civic. A turtle. That is crazy. She crossed paths with Massasar, massive and dark, muncher of Archelon, gulper of shark. Quickly she slid to the bottom and hid. For days and for weeks she could store up a breath and merge with the mud as quiet as death. Just a silt-covered bump she would lie as clam-grubbing plesiosaurs burrowed on by. Suddenly something awakened in her. Those flippers once more were beginning to stir. She swung like a compass without knowing why. She left for the land of the sand and the sky, back to the shallows, back to the shore, back to the world she had fled 
before. She beached in the cool of the evening, and then her hard-working flippers took over again, muscular flippers, sturdy and big, the better to dig with. Dig, dig, dig. Up flew the sand, down went the sun, in dropped her eggs, and the job was done. She swam on a current, she cruised in the sun, in search of the spot where her life had begun. Drawn by the hundreds to mingle and breed, flotillas of Archelon swept through the weed. Crash went the waves as they broke on the sand, in slipped the turtle, preparing to land. She launched with the tide, exhausted but free, to ripple away on a starlit sea. Gone is that sea and the creatures it knew, Archelon, Mosasaur, Pterosaur too. Gone is the Plesiosaur's clam-cracking smile. But full-body helmets are still in style. Speckled or spotted, pancake or box, some as soft as leather, some hard as rocks. Shells of all fashions continue to girdle, the middle of many a tortoise and turtle. And somewhere a sea turtle bolts from the shore, scraping a trail to the sea once more. A note from the author. Sea turtles in the prairies of Kansas? Sharks in landlocked Manitoba? Yes. Millions of years ago, a great seaway covered much of North America. It was in these warm waters that the giant sea turtles swam. Archelon was the biggest turtle species that ever lived. It grew to 15 feet about the same size as the enormous white rhinoceros of Africa. Even though Archelon became extinct, along with the dinosaurs, seven species of smaller sea turtles exist today. They may not have to dodge dinosaurs or giant marine reptiles, but modern sea turtles face challenges every bit as big. At sea, they are accidental victims of commercial fishing. On land, their nesting sites are lost to development. Human activities have put the sea turtle in danger of extinction. Now it will take human effort to save them. Thanks to Dr. Craig Durstler of the University of New Orleans for his assistance. And with that, we come to the end. I hope you enjoyed this book. I sure did. Thanks for joining me. Just try to imagine fish as big as a truck. Huge. <laughs>